Um, I think our, our offense will go back to the way it was in 2009, which is a tailback-centered offense as far as the runs are concerned. And I expect Mike to carry it 25 times a game, and Ontario will probably help him out and chip in with about 10, and uh, maybe even Trey will get a few. But uh, I think uh, the focal point of our running game will be uh, the tailback position. In the little of time that Trey Mason has been here, do you think he can help you out this year? Um, absolutely. Uh, he's learned the offense uh, really well. He's tough, he's conscientious, he works hard. And, you know, to be real frank, any running back that comes to Auburn, he's going to be successful. So. Some of your big running backs, like Ladarius Phillips, how is he doing? Uh, he's doing well. He had a, a foot injury last August, actually, and it, it's, it's an injury that takes about a year to heal, and um, especially when you're 300 pounds. And right. Actually, he's 285, so he's, <laughs> uh, he's lost a few. So uh, it's taken him a year. Last year, he was, uh, you know, he was on the sidelines the entire year. This spring, he was probably 70%. This summer he's progressed and he's probably 90%. He's doing really well. We're going to find a role for him uh, and you'll see him on the field uh, September 3rd. Who do you think between all the running backs you have, who is more of a leader in the group? Um, vocally, it's probably Ontario. You know, he's been around the longest. He knows our expectations and, and he can communicate those expectations to the younger guys and he does a good job. Okay. You double as a recruiting coordinator here. How has the season gone so far in recruiting? Well, it's gone well. Um, you know, we obviously want to capitalize on, on the momentum from the national championship, and, and uh, we have uh, uh, up uh, around 15 commitments right now. So I think we've done that. It's going to be uh, important for us to, to, to close and, and, and get a few more uh, as the uh, season progresses. But uh, I'm excited where, where we are right now. We had some specific needs to, uh, to fill offensively and defensively, and we've done that, and we still have a few more to go. But it appears that Auburn is the place to be. How much of winning the national championship has affected recruiting? Uh, it had a definite effect because it's uh, instant credibility with a lot and uh, name recognition with, with guys as far away as uh, Pennsylvania, Arizona. Uh, so uh, it, it's helped us. It's opened doors that were generally closed for us, you know, in, in areas that I mentioned before. So. Uh, again, everyone likes a, a winner. You recruited Cam Newton, and now he's with the Carolina Panthers. Have you talked to him? Oh, yeah. Uh, talk via text most of the time because he's pretty busy these <laughs> days. He's pretty busy. But I, I was excited for him on uh, Saturday night when, you know, I think he was 8 of 19 for 134 yards. I know he the made stats. Some big plays. I know the, the stats, and he showed some poise in the pocket, and then he was excited about it. He, he did. He said he was nervous, and uh, we had butterflies, and he was excited and nervous. And and I know Cam. He'll uh, he will have drastic improvement from game one to game two, game three, and game four. And you know, I think he he'll um, he'll lead him to the Super Bowl one day. That's my prediction. So. Last thing, Coach. What are your feelings on the upcoming season? Um, you know, I, I think we have an objective, and our objective is to. You know, our goals haven't changed, and we want to continue to play the type of football that we've played here. Uh, does it, what does that equate? How many wins, how many losses? We, we have no idea of that. We just know that every Saturday we're going to play Auburn football, and, uh, and that will be good enough for us. Thanks, Coach. And I'm Jordan Buckner reporting for AuburnSports.com.